Okay, everybody, I'm back, and this is going to be, I'm going to just do one more video tonight. And it is going to be uh, just like we did in class, how we would, like, build a major scale with, with whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. From there, we would build the triads, and then we would identify those triads as being major, minor, or diminished. As, uh, as we learned in our class, there's going to end up being three major chords, three minor chords, and one diminished. Um, so the first thing we do is we start by writing down the scale degrees um, for the key. And let's do that first. So one, scale degree one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're back up to one. That's at the octave, okay? That doesn't look like much of a five. We can do better than that. Now, as we said, the formula is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So it's whole, whole, half, between scale degrees three and four, then whole, 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 and ending up pushing into the octave a half step. All right? Now, this is the structure of a major scale. Major, it, this stuff is never going to change. This is the order. Every scale will have two half steps in it, and every scale will have five whole steps in it. Um, <coughs> So, that's set. Now, we've also learned about triads and, and, and constructing triads. And basically, the way you construct us, uh, well, let's, you know, let's, let's pick our key first. I'm going to do this in the key of D, all right? And key of D, that, that means that the first scale degree is going to be the note D. Now, at that point, we can write down all of the other letters, but we don't know if they have any sharps or flats with them. We don't know if they're raised or, or if, uh, if we're really lucky, they're, they all just remain the same, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Then it's really easy to think about, but usually that's not the case, but it's going to be alphabetical. So we know it's going to be some kind of D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then we're back up to D at the octave. All right, that's an octave higher. Okay. Now, let's start building triads. Now, remember a, a, a triad is a root, then we put the third and the fifth. Root, skip the next note. Third, skip the next note, put in the fifth. So, in this case, we've got D, E, F, Oh, wait, you know, but uh, that's how we build it. However, I'm getting out of order here. Before I get that, I forgot to make sure that we don't have any sharps or flats in here. So let's go through it. Between D and E, it's a whole step. So we've got the right note there. It's not E flat or anything like that. We need a whole step between uh, to get from E, and the next note needs to be a whole step higher than E. Well... Here it tells us that E and F are only a half step apart, a minor second, so we've got to raise this F. We've, it's, if you were a piano, it'd be like uh, become a black key note. It's going to have to be F sharp in order for us for, to be able to have a, you know, two frets of whole step between E, the second and third degrees. Now we ask ourselves, okay, F sharp is the third degree. The next note is going to be some kind of G. Well, we need a half step between scale degrees 3 and 4, and F sharp to G, if F to G is, is a full step, two frets, then raising our F up to F sharp is going to make it closer to G, and indeed, G is fine just the way it is. So we don't have to change G. We don't have to make it a G sharp or anything. Now between G and A, steps four and five, 
we have, again, a full step. We're okay. Between A and B is with uh, natural letters, we're still fine. That's a whole step. Between B and C, we need a whole step. But between B and C, we only have a half step. So we're going to have to raise that C. We're going to have to sharp it to make that become a whole step. And then, of course, we need a half step between scale degree 7 and the octave, or, or you know, which is the same note as, as the first degree, except an octave higher. And we already have that. And if we, changed, if we had to change this to D-sharp or something like that, it would violate what we're doing, because this has to be the same letter as this. Uh, an octave is the same letter, it's just a higher version of that. Okay, now, now we're going to act, we're going to uh, stack these up into triads. So what we've got here is root, third, fifth. We're skipping the second and fourth notes above it. So we've got D, F sharp, A. The next one, we've got E, skip F sharp, go to G, G, skip A, go to B. So we have E, G, B. The chord built on the third degree of the scale, F sharp, A, C sharp. We're skipping the G and the B. Root, third, fifth. All right, so F sharp, A, C sharp. Now, on the fourth degree, we're building um, some kind of G chord. G, skip A, B, skip C sharp, D. G, B, D. All right. On the fifth degree, we have A, C sharp, skip D. That brings us up to E. A, C sharp, E. On the sixth degree, we build a chord B, D, F sharp. And finally, the chord built on the seventh degree of the scale is C sharp, skipping the D, E, skipping the F sharp, the G, C sharp, E, G. All right. Now, we have to decide if these are major or minor chords. We've already, in the prior video, said that a major chord has a major third, which is two full steps between the root and the third. Between D and F sharp, we have that. We have a whole, a whole step, another whole step. We have that situation. And also, from uh, the third to the fifth, we need to have a minor third. F sharp to A, half step plus a whole step, that gives us minor third. This tells us that the following, that the one chord is, we use, remember we're using Roman numerals, higher case because it's a D major chord. All right, going to the two chord, is it major or minor? going from E to G, the root to the third, we have this, this situation where we have whole step, half step, that's a minor third. You've got a minor third between B and G, G and B, we have a major third. Two whole steps. So now we've got between E and G, the minor third, G and B, we have the major third. That is the definition of a minor chord. So we put the Roman numeral for two, but lower case, with the periods above these. That means to us that it's a minor chord. The second degree, the, the chord built on the second degree of the D scale, of the D major scale, is E minor. All right, the three chord, F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp to A, step and a half, minor third. A to C sharp, two whole steps, that's a major third. Again, that equals minor third plus major third gives us a minor chord. So we're lowercase, that's the three chord, 
and it is F sharp minor. Going to the four chord, we have G to B, that's two whole steps. That's a major third between the G and the B. Between the B and the D, you've got half whole step, half step minor third. That is, like the one chord, a major chord. So that's going to be uppercase, Roman numeral four. And our four chord is the chord G in the key of D. Moving to the five chord, A to C sharp two whole steps, that's a major third, C sharp to E, that's a step and a half, minor third, that's another major chord. So, five chord, and the chord is going to be called A. It's an A major chord. Let's do this a little better, that's kind of getting crowding over there, F sharp minor looks a little better. Okay, now on to the sixth chord, B to D. That's a minor third between uh, B and D, so it's looking like a minor chord. D to F sharp, we'll go down here, D to F sharp, two whole steps, minor third with a major third on top. The sixth chord is a minor chord, and it is B minor in this particular case, particular case we're in, which is in the key of D. And let's see if we can make that look a little better. Okay, that leaves one more chord built on the seventh degree of the scale. C sharp to E, half step, whole step, that's a minor third. So it's looking like it's going to be a minor chord. Now, between E and G, we have half step as well. Now, I've not defined what kind of chord this is for you, but it's certainly not a minor chord, and it's not a major chord. As we said in class, it's called a diminished chord, and it's, it's, got, it's full of tension. And the thing is about it, it's, it's a diminished chord. This usually, the, that dot means diminished. Um, there's other ways to notate these, you know, you'll run into more than one way of saying this stuff. That's a diminished chord. We're going to call it a C-sharp diminished chord. We can do better than that. C-sharp diminished chord. Now, the thing about this is, is we don't really use it. I mean, I'm not saying it can't be used or anything, but uh, in music that you play, and music that I play, I never use this chord. Uh, the seven. All right. So there you have it. You've got all of the chords now in every major scale. On the scale degrees one, four, and five are major. Those are your strongest chords. On the chords uh, built on scale degrees two, three, and six, they're minors. Uh, you can think of them as adding spice or something like that, but you know, um, there's all kinds of things that go into building chord progressions, and we're going to be doing that a lot in the next class, work, working on various uh, ways of doing that. Okay, but for mainly, the thing is uh, that I want you to know about the seventh chord is, let's just forget about it. Let's just say, we don't really care about that diminished chord. If you want to tussle with it later, you can, but I have to confess, I never have. Okay, so here we have it. I built for you uh, in the key of D. These are the natural chords that you're going to be using. D, E minor, F sharp minor, G, A, E minor. When you're listening to a piece of music, trying to decide what chord it is that you're hearing, 95% of the time, you're going to be guessing right. If, 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 you're, if you're guessing using these chords. All right, that's all I have, and I don't think I'm going to do any more videos before class. I hope that you learn from this, and I suggest that you just pick any, any note that you want and build it up with a whole, whole half, whole, whole, whole half, write down the letter. Just do exactly what I did and do it for yourself. Okay? Anyway, thanks a lot and take care.